Platform Pete's, how you doing? Toster here. We got some mods drop down today. Some of pretty cool too. I have to admit, I like a few of these. These are drop down all at once. I think a few of them are a little goofy, but I add they'll work. So, first rattle out of the box is this little doodad right here. This is a weeder and a cedar. It's a weeder cedar. And don't be confused because there are two actual two parts, two pieces, two implements here. Uh, the weeder right here is one. And your seed bin right here is two. Now you have to uh, customize this to make it work correctly. So let's get into that. On your, <clears throat> on your weeder, it's of course in the weeder section. Go to the ag aggro. Design, that just puts the uh, little caution plates on the back. Your mold, your mode mulch harrow, just right there. To get the attachment for that cedar, attachers has to be set for sewing sections. Has to, or it will not attach. So once you do that, purchase or lease it. And then you can come over to Cedars. Boom. Go in there. <clears throat> and you scroll over to the aggro there. To the SP200. And this has to be set for the BM75. You have different options. 40, the 30, the 75. I mean, you have different options. <clears throat> but to attach it to that, you have to be on the BM75. Or should be. I didn't try the others, but I'm figuring it just has to be on that one setting since it's actually for the BM75. Kind of makes sense. So there you have that. In both of those, that's 7,720. 7, uh, 7, holds 200 liters, which does grass. Uh, what is that? Uh, old seed radish and... Huh. I can't even think what that symbol is. I'll think of it in a minute. Okay, then you, the weeder is, oop, uh, there it is, 27,160. <coughs> Panola, that's the symbol. And it takes, the cedar itself takes up seven slots, and that takes up 12. So you're looking at, what, 19? So that's not all that great. Especially when you're searching, looking for a you know, 7.5 meter cedar. I mean, it's, it's okay for what it is. You got two for one, that's a good thing, but with the slot count, not really. I mean, because you got a 7.5 meter. Cedars. There's a nine meter, but I already own it. There's a six meter. Takes up eight slots. So there you go. I mean, there's a 12 meter that takes up six slots. So it's not all that great for the slot count. I don't think anyway. It's cool looking and it's neat, but as far as slots, eh, it kind of sucks. Anyway, uh, the weeder and the intercrop cedar made by Agromass. The author is VNS FDG2. It's available for all platforms. <clears throat> I mean, it's cool looking, it's neat, but yeah, I probably won't have that. It's cool though. I do think, I do kudos to that. It is cool. Good thinking. Here we have the Lemkin Sapphire 8. And author is STV uh, hyphen modding, available for all platforms. Price is 44000 It's got three meter working width. The only thing I think this one's got good going for it is it's Lemkin. It's a good brand, and I love that blue. Ooh, wrong button. And, oh, I was already there. Hmm. And you scroll over, and you keep scrolling. Boom, right there. Sapphire 8 for 44000 
does all your basic crops there. Holds 600 liters. It is not customizable. And boom, cone slot count. Oh, which way am I going? I lost. There it is, six slots. Not too bad. I wish it held more in liters, but still not bad. But it just does the seed. It does not do seeding and uh, fertilization. It just does the seeding. That's it. But it's still got the good color going for it. I do like that. That's awesome. And oh, that little guy right there. We got another weight. I know. I love it. We got tons of weights and tons of trailers. I love them. But, I mean, they're all, I guess, somewhat useful in a roundabout way. That weight is the self-made 800 kilogram. Uh, price is 800. And the author is Rick Black Label TWD Modding. That's a long name. And it's available for all platforms. And, of course, it's in the weights, as you'd know. And it took me a little bit to, I don't know, find it, I guess, because I kept passing it. It didn't actually, I don't know, it didn't click as to which one it was, because I was looking for the self-made. It's actually just the Lizard 800 kilogram weight. That's it. Because there's no other one. <laughs> and that's it. So you have that 800, no customization. Where's that at? There it is. Two slots. So, yeah, it's not bad. Just like basically any other weight. It's a weight. And here's this little guy. I'm actually liking it, but it's a little different. Working it is confusing. There are two separate components, the trailer and the dolly. Of course, the dolly's in the dollies. But this can also be moved by a semi-tractor. Semi tractor. So, you don't have to have the dolly if you don't want to. But the way it tips, you choose which uh, bin you want to tip, either the front or the rear. And they both tip on either side, the left side or the right side, whichever side you want. It is customizable in color. Uh, the dollies will hit that first. Right there's the dolly, 2,590. It is customizable with colors, three different colors. And the... No, it's not letting me. That's weird. There we go. There, three different colors on that one. And you got your wheel set up. You can choose from. And once, once this is PS4, once I get down to the wheel set up, I can't go back up to the color. So if you want to change your color, you do it first rattle right out of the box. Right there. Let's change that one. Bump it over. We'll change that one. And now you can do your wheel setup because I can. It will not let me go back up to change the colors. So once you're down for the wheel setup, you're down for the count. Looks like. But there that one is, and of course the trailer itself is in the trailers. And we buzz on over. I mean, I actually kind of like the design of it. I think it's neat because for one, you can haul. Two different types of grain into one. And this is customizable as well with the three different colors. So you can... Now this one let me... Orange and dark orange. Huh, that's different. Okay. Now this one let me go back and forth. However, the dolly did not. But you've got your configuration right here. And the configuration dumps the trailers. And it's uh, the right side configuration or the left side configuration. And that's which way it's going to dump, the left side or the right side. Then you've got your wheel set up. You can choose your different types of wheels that you have. And to this, you can only dump one at a time, the front or the rear. You cannot dump both at the same time. I tried it several times. It will not let me. I think that would have been cool because if you have the same grain in both bins, it wasn't wouldn't matter which one you dump, you just dump them both. But you can't do that. So let's go look at the slot count on that. And if I can find it, oh, there's the dolly. The dolly is five slots. Hmm, not all that great. 
and 14 slots for the trailer, but it hauls everything. But it only holds 18,000 liters. So you're looking at 19 slots for both of those or just 14 for the trailer. That one holds 30,000 and it's one slot. So I don't get it. I just don't get it. <laughs> So that's, uh, these are together, it's a package right here, but it's one slot, that's 14. I'm sure there's more animation to it, but regardless, that's crazy. And boom. Moving on to this little bad boy. Vader stand. I'm actually kind of excited about this. I like the, the articulation on it that it has. It actually unfolds, and it's pretty cool looking. I never, if I can get to the right spot on here. There it is. Top down 500. Price at 24,000. Uh, the working speed of 17 kilometers per hour, 250 horsepower, and it is heavy. Trust me, you need the 250 horsepower. It's heavy. Just like the uh, the combo cedar and the weeder over there, you need a large tractor for that because, or a front weight because it is heavy. The uh, it's available for all platforms, and its author is M. Lodi or M. Lodi ninety eight. M. L. O. D. Y. nine eight, and it's yeah available for all platforms. Kind of cool looking. Like I said, I like the way it articulates and changes and moves. Kind of neat looking. Alrighty, but let's go into the hardware. There it is. And yeah, scroll over. I was like, oh, and you scroll over. But which way am I going? I got lost. Top down 500, 69,000. It's got a five meter working width. Of course, it's not customizable, it does what it's supposed to do. <coughs> And if it'll ever change, seven slots, not too shabby. Kind of cool, I think, anyway, because the rest of them is about six and seven, two, seven. So, yeah, it's it's workable. Uh, that's a 4.1 meter. That's a five meter, so you're gaining uh, same slottage. So, hey, that's a winner. That's what I'm thinking. I don't care. The brand, I'm not a brand junkie. I just, as long as it does its job, as long as it works, and the price and the slot count is right, I really don't care. But it does help if it looks cool. It's just, you know, throwing it out there. If it looks cool, it's awesome. It's a plus. <laughs> the uh, next, got that plow. The, the Kuhn Very Master 153 4 plus 1. So it's not a five, it's a four plus one. <laughs> the working speed is 12 uh, huh. kph. That's different. $24,500. Uh, 150 horsepower, 2.5 meter working width. And the author is Agri X I X L. A G R I X L. I do believe that is. It's available for all platforms. And boom, go to plows, and there it is. Boom, twenty-four five, not customizable. Like I said, it's a plow; it does its job, and it will rotate from side to side. And you can adjust it uh, in a, a straight line or a, a swath to the left or to the right, whichever way you have it rotated. So that is cool. And the slots. Boom. Four slots. So not bad. Considering its predecessor is four slots. So it's, you know, so there you have. Not too bad. That'll work too. And the last one. This little doodad. This little guy. Be great for like smaller fields. Uh, Mercury Farms or something. Oh, and by the way, Mercury Farms just got an update today as well. Throwing that out there. Thank you, Alien Jim. It's a Case IH-14. 
right here. Uh, price is 10,000. You can click configuration on it. Customization is the stickering. Uh, author is Gary Modding and AAA Modding. Uh, it's available for all platforms. And boom. And of course, it's in the plows as well. Mm, I think I passed it. Yep, there's that little doodad right there. Boom. And it's customizing, customizable with the, the labels. Those on this side. Yeah, there it is. Case. International. So you, there's a few different options. Not many, but a few different options of the labeling if you want to get fancy with the labeling or anything. And boom, we go into that, and there it is for four slots. Three meters for four slots. Not too bad. It's doable. And like I said, it worked great for smaller farms. That'd be perfect, I think, anyway. And we'll just go ahead and do these trailers. These bad boys are awesome. Right there. I was extremely impressed with these not because the trailers not because of the capacity but because of the slot count it's amazing it's the wilson pace setter super b it's a uh, you can change the colors and uh, the connecting hoses the price is eighty thousand capacity is sixty thousand a thirty and a thirty thirty for each trailer uh, author is uh, stephen baron custom modding and it's available for all platforms. And you can use these as uh, a single trailer or a tandem trailer. They can be used separately. So that's a plus, I think. You don't have to have both of them connected. So you can disconnect that one and simply use the trailer here. Or you can back up to it and boom, connect that and back up. Or you can use the rear trailer by itself. It doesn't matter. Open that up. And there it dumps it. It's a belly dump. So it dumps in the, from the belly. Both of them do. So that's a plus. Boom. And there you have that. Here's the catch. And why I think it's so awesome. You scroll over. Heel, you run right onto it. That's crazy. It's all the way over here. Boom, right there. The Pace Setter Super B. It's 80,000, 60,000 liters. You can customize the colors, kind of, looks like. So you can make a, you know, some slight changing to it on the colors, which don't look too bad. Hmm, kind of cool. Anyway. Uh, the total price on that is $84.2 with the customizations on it. But here's the deal. Here's what I love. This thing is awesome. I'll be selling all my trailers. Probably be using this. Because look at that. It is one slot for that trailer combination. One slot. That's crazy. Because now I go into my owned. And what I own... There is not another trailer that size, capacity-wise, that holds or has one slot. That's a seven. That's just crazy. When I seen one slot, I thought I was seeing things, actually. Those are ones, so that's a given, but they don't hold near the capacity. It's 21,000 per trailer. That's 30,000 per trailer. That's a six slot. Oh, that's a one slot. I was wrong. There you have it, 59,000, but it's 1,000 difference. That one slot, though, with a tandem trailer, I'm just thinking that's awesome. And there's it's 59,000 for one slot, 16 slots for that one, six slots for that one, and it's a 60,000. It's the same, same size, just one trailer. So, I mean, there is comparisons in there, but not many. Not that I have, anyway. I just think it's neat because it's in a tandem, and you can... Use one, the other, or both. And it's one slot. And it's kind of neat looking, especially when you detach that and you got the 36-inch extension back there. That's just kind of kind of neat. Instead of it being on a dolly system, it's got a built-in dolly, basically. 
and then you can actually pull this in with the tractor with a dolly or that in with a dolly so it doesn't matter either way you can pull it with a tractor or a truck and these little doodads the gates and I was standing right in the way I placed those a little bit too close together didn't I Huh, that was that won't be open. Maybe that's not a gate. It sure does look like it. There it is. Okay, got to be on the correct side of it. But there's your uh, the actual fences there, gates. I place them way too close together to get them to work properly. Anyway, you get the gist of it. Uh, those were drop fed today as well. And it's a galvanized gate. And the author is Nico Pix. Uh, kudos, Nico. He does uh, quite a bit of mods there, I've noticed. Uh, categories and objects. And it's available for all platforms. Boom, boom. Objects. And it's in miscellaneous. And you scroll over till you see your gates, and I've got a lot of miscellaneous junk in here. And we'll eventually get to it, maybe. I may have passed it already, too. Four of those are miscellaneous. Evidently, it's not. Huh. Okay, I'll give. That's crazy. I swore it was in miscellaneous. It is not. It is not there. Oh, decoration. Figures. Okay. I swore it was in miscellaneous, but it's in decoration. The gate is. I have to remember that when I top this up. The uh, galvanized gate is a 4 meter and a 5 meter. 1240 and 1240, so there's no price difference, and there's no customization because it is a placeable. But remember, it's in decoration. Because <laughs> that totally messed me up. I was thinking miscellaneous on that aspect of it, but nope, it wasn't. Now I just gotta find it in my deals for a slot count. I want to say it's like one or two for the slot count, but I can't remember. There it is. Boom. Yeah, it's a one apiece. So one apiece for the slot count. And while we're here, next we have the decoration of the uh, bunched firewood, which is decoration only. You can't do anything with it. It is a, a one slot count. And that's in decoration as well. Right there for 50 bucks. And it's just one slot. No customization because for a fact it's just decoration. They look cool though. It's too bad we can't do anything with them. But they do look cool. Hmm. Banded wood. That's different. Kind of like that. Well, that one, the price is 50 bucks, and the author is Kamuhoro. K-A-M-U-H-O-R-O. -O. Uh, it's available for all platforms on the bunched wood. And next, boom, we have the placeable ramp. It's uh, four by seven meters, $8,000. Author is Mapper's Paradise, and it's available for all platforms. And it's great for loading. The only thing I wish is they didn't have the, the stoppers up in front. Because if they didn't, this would be an awesome ramp. Just throw that out there. I think that'd be amazing. But you can lower it down so you can drive right over it. So you can place one of these just about anywhere. And they don't, they're not in your way. 
lower it, raise it up, lower it down, and they're not in your way. That's awesome. That's what I like about it. I just wish the bumper stops wasn't there, because that'd be amazing if they wasn't. And boom. Let's go look at the slot count for the ramp. Uh, right there it is. Boom. Slot count of two. So that's not too bad. And it's under placeables and in miscellaneous, I do believe on that. I'm not going to swear to that, but I think it is. Everything should be under miscellaneous. That way I won't get lost and confused. There it is. $8,000. Boom. Right there. And next is, it's not the cow barn, it's the open cow pasture. Placeable large cow pasture. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Oh, author is ATZEVR. And the platforms are all platforms. I don't know as I'm all that fond about fond of this. It's cool. And I love it because it does just everything it needs to. It reminds me of the one we had off of. I still do. Kind of. Huh. On Goldcrest. That's kind of on 17. That kind of reminds me of that one. In a way, just roughly. But it's all here. There's, uh, I think, the drive through gate. Yep, drive through gate. Because there's your, uh, your water, I believe it is. I mean, there is some uh, changes to it. And just drive right on out. And there's for the manure and the slurry. And now here's the kicker. Of course, it's under animals. The large cow pasture right there is 300,000, holds 200 uh, cattle. Okay. And recently, we just got the cow barn, which, as long as it works properly, I think it's a winner because of the price and everything else. It holds 200. Where'd it go? There it is. And that holds 200. That's 300,000. And the cow barn was half that price at 150. It's 12 slots. The large cow pasture is 350,000. Holds 200 cattle. It costs you $400 a day to have. The cow barn costs you nothing per day to have. The large cow pasture right here costs you $300 a day to have. So in comparison, it's 400 a day and 300 a day. Uh, it's fifty thousand dollars more. Versus this one. And oh, not over there. Right here, boom, boom. Large cow pasture, right there is 13 slots. The large cow pasture right there is 18 for the new one. So I'm paying $100 more a day. I'm paying $50,000 more for it, initial purchase, and I'm using more slots. So yeah, no thank you. Looks cool, but like I said, nope, don't think so. Slot count killed it, and plus the price and the daily fees. And here we have a mini BGA. And I say mini, it's mini. That thing is tiny. I guess it does what it's supposed to do. It's all that matters, I guess. But it's a small BGA. The author is Land... Yeah, something. I'm not going to try that. L-A-N-D-M-E-N-S-C-H. It's available for all platforms. The price is 124800 The bunker capacity is uh, 10,000 liters. Uh, consumption per second is 3 liters. The maintenance for, uh, per day is $50 a day. And the fill type is silage, straw, grass, hay, potato, sugar beet, and dung. <laughs> uh, 
I've not done a full testing on this one to actually figure out the way all that good stuff works right here. But I'm sure somebody will, if not me. I still think it's cool looking because of everything it has here, all contained, and I, don't know, I just think it's neat. Uh, boom. And it is, I want to say miscellaneous on that again. Oh, let's all, everything's like miscellaneous. Should be, like I said. Yep, there it is. I thought so. 124.8. Right there. 50 bucks a day. And we got to find it in here now. I think I've seen it back over here. Yep, there it is. Seven slots for your own VGA, which I think is cool because some places, some maps don't have them. Or you can actually, this is small enough, you can dump it right there on your land. I mean, you have the space, bump it right there. That would be awesome. Uh, that's the use out of. Okay. I just wanted to see if they put a bunker in here. I didn't see one. You could actually use the small one right there and make do with it and put right next to it. So it says bunker, but I don't see a bunker. It may just dump into it and it uh, converts it itself. I don't know. Or am I looking wrong? Back in the miscellaneous. <laughs> but the bunker should be under the, the actual silos because that's where the bunkers usually are. Because uh, the... The Wild Bach Biogas 32KW. And that looks like that's it. So, I didn't see a silo for it or a bunker for it. So, there you have that. And the updates uh, for today, like I said, Mercury Farms, kudos to Alien Jim. There was an update to Slurry Tanker 14 with the injector. And there was also an update to the SX Heavy Pack, that semi-truck I used earlier. So there's been uh, some updates and the mods all today. Hope everyone enjoyed this. Give a thumbs up if you liked it. Comments down below for any suggestions or anything else. Uh, also, check out the people on the future channel list over to the right. There's a number of people over that does a some awesome videos and until next time we'll catch you later